Hi students, welcome to week two. In this video, I'll be explaining this week's assignments. Um, there's two main things you're going to learn this week. One is how to write an academic paragraph. Um, and also, we're going to preview or look at um, Enrique's journey. We're going to look at the... Sorry. <laughs> we're going to look at the front cover. We're going to read the back cover. Um, we'll learn a little bit about um, Sonia Nazario, about the author. Um, so this way, um, when we start reading the book next week, you have an idea of what the book is about and who the author is, and it will help you with the reading. Okay? All right. Here's our to-do list. You have three things by Thursday and three things by Sunday. Let's go over each of them. Last week, you watched a couple videos about parts of speech and how to write a complete sentence. So this week, you're going to practice writing complete sentences in English. Um, and these sentences will have front structures. Okay, so you're going to write at least six sentences, six sentences or more, describing your journey to this class, ESL 105. What events led you to being in this class? So how did you get here? What was your journey to here? Um, the sentences should begin with front structures and be complete. Remember, to have a complete sentence, you need a subject, verb, and a complete thought. Um, and you don't have to use these, but they're recommended because it's like a, they can organize a story. Once upon a time, that means a long, long time ago, for example, once upon a time, I was living in my home country. And you see, remember to put the comma after the front structure and then have your subject, your verb, and your complete thought. Okay, once upon a time, comma, I was living in my home country. Until one day, comma, um, I applied for a visa to move to the United States. Um, because of that, um, I had to wait to see if I could get the visa and that because of that, um, I was very excited but nervous until finally my visa was approved and ever since then I have been living in the United States and uh, working on improving my English. Okay, so that's an example of a story explaining how did you get here to this class, okay? Or to the United States or to, this, uh, to where you are today. So the goal is to really improve your sentences, so write it carefully, okay? If you have time, meet with me or a tutor to check your sentences. You also should write two comments from your class, for your classmates, and each comment should be 20 or more words. Okay. Um, to get credit, for the minimum, you need five sentences and one comment to get um, credit as a completed assignment. Okay, but the best thing to do is to write six or more sentences and two comments. Okay, to start a discussion post, you click reply and start writing. Okay, and then you click reply. You can also insert images if you want. Um, and then to write a comment, like you can read your, this for example, you could read mine or one of your classmates, you'll click reply and then write a comment. And you can see the number of words. So I have six 
and you need um, at least 20. Okay, so do two comments, 20 words each. Um, these videos here explain how to make a discussion post, or you could also, um, if you have extra time, you can also make a video, so you could do that if you want, but that's not required. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is preview Enrique's journey. So this is a reading skill. This means to flip through the book, um, look at the front cover, look at the back cover, um, because um, when you're reading something new, it's good to get an idea or sense of what the book will be about so you can make predictions and guesses. So even if you don't understand every single word, you, ha you can guess because you have an idea of what it's about. And actually, Research shows that strong readers make predictions about books. So that's what we're going to do. Okay, if you can't come to Zoom, um, I'm going to post the answers here. Okay, but look at the front cover, answer these questions. Look at the back cover, answer these questions. Okay. Okay, this page has information about Sonia Nazario, okay? Um, so you can read this page about her. And then the next page has a video. This is a TED Talk. Um, TED is like a, a website or platform where people can give lectures or talks about lots of interesting topics in many languages. So um, yeah, she gave, she has this uh, speech. You don't have to watch the whole thing. Just watch the first six minutes. And then um, you can also study these words as you listen. And then you're gonna take a quiz, okay? You need seven out of 10 to get credit for the quiz. All right, next comes the paragraph writing. Um, your first writing assignment will be to write an academic paragraph about one of your goals and how you will achieve your goals. Um, so maybe one of your goals is to um, get a job um, for a specific company, okay? Or maybe one of your goals is to graduate from college. Or one of your goals is to finish the ESL program at Palomar College. Um, maybe your goal is to um, is to get your GED, or I don't know. There could be lots of goals, or to buy a car. Okay, um, so pick one goal. Pick one goal to write about and explain in your paragraph what is your goal, why is it your goal, and what steps do you need to take to achieve your goal. So what do you need to do first? What do you need to do second? What do you need to do third to achieve your goal? Okay, and remember to just talk about one goal, not lots of goals, just one. Um, these are the steps I recommend to complete this assignment. It's good to look at um, an example so you can see how it's organ organized and written. I would make a plan. You can make a copy and type your, your plan or handwrite it. But in a paragraph, you want to have a topic sentence that says what your paragraph is going to be about. What is the goal you're going to focus on? Like one of my goals is to buy a new car. Okay, why is next explain why is it your goal? And then what are the steps you need to take to achieve your goal? Okay, maybe there's five steps, two steps, I don't know. It doesn't have to be three, but you need some steps. 
and then your conclusion sentence, okay? Um, in the module, if you've, okay, if you've never written an academic paragraph before, I highly recommend write, watching this video here um, that explains how to write an academic paragraph, okay? Um, there's also some information here, so read this. In addition, there's an extra reading this week. It isn't required, but I think it's helpful um, for improving your English to read more and more. Um, but um, what I have here is a summary of this book. <laughs> we don't have time to read the whole book, but this is a summary from the, the website um, about the book. And uh, basically, this book um, teaches readers a simple set of rules for creating good habits and breaking bad ones. Um, so if you sometimes we have goals, but we don't have the habits to make it so that we can achieve our goals or we have a hard time breaking bad habits. Um, so this this book. Um, it explains some lessons, and then it has um, some steps about how to get make better habits. Um, so this might be useful when you're thinking about your goals and what you want to write about in your paragraph. Um, because sometimes the step, like how will you achieve your goal? For example, if you want to buy a car, maybe you need to think about your habits. Um, or breaking bad habits. Like maybe you have a bad habit of mm, going shopping every weekend and, and buying lots of clothes that you don't need. <laughs> so maybe this is a bad habit that you need to break if you want to achieve your goal of um, buying a new car because you need to save money for that. Okay, so this article is just optional, but it's something that can be useful um, these are questions, like reading questions, and then um, I wrote the answers here if you want to do this activity, okay? Um, oh, I forgot to mention. Uh, for the paragraph, the writing assignment one, my goal, um, I have an example here. Yeah, so you want to put your first name, your last name, the class, my name, the date, a title, what's your goal, what's your dream. And then to start your paragraph, indent half an inch or press the tab key. And then, um, and so this is how it can look. Um, you can use Times New Roman and 12 point font, okay? And there's also some videos down here that explain how to type and format, how to submit your paragraph on Canvas. Um, also vocabulary, I have some suggestions. Um, like one day I will achieve my dream of becoming a nurse. Okay, so I recommend using some of this vocabulary. Um, I'm going to post the Zoom recordings and slideshows here. And this page reviews what we learned or what we're learning this week. Next week, we will begin reading the book um, and also revise your paragraph. Please make sure you have a copy of the book um, so that you're ready for the homework. If you need a copy of the book and you don't have money to buy it, contact me because I have a few extra copies. And these are some extra things if you want to review and study more. All right, everyone, let's have an awesome week too. And I look forward to working with you. Bye.